there are opportunities that are going to come your way. And there might be some other things going on. And you have to make a choice. You have to ask yourself the question. What do you want? Because if you don't know what you want, nothing else matters. How I'm about to use my time. Is it positive? Is it purposeful? Is it leading in the direction of where I'm going and the meaning of my life? Is it productive? And is it profitable? You know. You know when you are guilty of wasting time and laying in bed and you're being lazy. You know it. Whether that was seven, seven o'clock in the morning or six o'clock in the morning, you know it. You have to start the cycle of waking up early by waking up early. Success is not convenient. You have to do what is required to accommodate success. Holding the line, maintaining the standard, giving no slack, none. That's the discipline. And if you're going to really be successful in life, if you're going to have it, if you're going to be it, you're going to do it, I need you to take personal responsibility. And I want you to say, the reason I'm not an amazing yet, because I hit the snooze button. That's why I'm not amazing right now. But when you know what you want, E, why do you wake up at three? Because I know what I want. One thing that discipline definitely does help you with is it helps you get things done. And when you get things done, when you, you, you actually do things, you, 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 you have more success. I wake up, boom, and I go pursue. A big part of success is just not being lazy and just doing it. Yeah. Just get, that's like 90% of it is just showing up. The reason why I'm not amazing right now is because I couldn't get up early enough because I told myself I'm not an early person. Get there and start working. Like, you're not going to feel perfect every day. If I felt, if I only worked out when I felt good, I'd be a fat. I'm not, I'm not amazing because I would prefer to make excuses than make adjustments. That's why I'm not amazing. Because there's a lot of days I don't want to do it. I mean, it's pretty much the same with everybody that if, that actually gets good at something. I want you to do me a huge favor. I want you to stop talking about this person didn't do that. That person didn't do this. This thing got didn't have that. I didn't grow up here. I didn't get this advantage. I didn't get kill it. Kill it. That you you get. There's got to be those days you push through. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Why haven't you reached amazing yet? Just keep it 100. I'm not amazing because I'm lazy. Just be one. Just, just look at yourself in the face and be honest. I'm not amazing because I'd rather spend my money on shoes. I'd rather spend my money on stuff than to make a sacrifice in a book or to fly and go to. I'm not amazing because I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing to be amazing. When the thing is done, when the discipline has been implemented, Remember what that feels like, and then remember that those minutes and those hours, they turn into weeks and months and years, and holding the line in those critical minutes will put you in an infinitely better place, physically and mentally, if you maintain the discipline. I, I don't have my morning routine game, I, I feel, you know, out of sorts. Um, so I think it's true for everybody that own your morning, you got to win it because that starts and sets up everything else. People need that discipline, those routines that will help the rest of the day go better. Get some momentum and be okay with that momentum. It's really small because it will build. Trust that that momentum builds and trust that those gloomy and bad, dark days, trust that those are going to be there. Honor the difficulty. When we honor the struggle instead of hate the struggle, we can really achieve extraordinary things because our mindset's in the right place. Now, the first night, you're gonna have a hard time going to sleep. What you do is the next morning, you wake up early anyways. That first night, you only got five hours worth of sleep and now you're tired throughout the day, good. Because then when you get to bed that night, you will turn off that computer and you'll be able to go to bed earlier like you wanted to. You can live on six hours sleep. So you have 18 hours, you have 18 hours. I wanna know what you're doing with your 18 hours. Because you can work your nine to five, and that's nine, and you can travel for an hour here and there. Respect, nice little solid commute. Oh, you want to be a family man? Mazel tov. You can spend two hours with your kids. What do you do with those other five hours? You're watching House of Cards. You're playing Madden. You're relaxing from the other intense ten. Gary, I already spent eleven hours. Well, great. Then don't complain or want more.
respect that by getting rest and this and that, you were giving up opportunity to go into a new world. You want the audacity to have a 1% life. Let's, let's call it what it is. You want to live as well as the one to 2% in the world. It's not very complicated. The math is very raw. Like you, if you want to have one of the best lives in the world, which is you live on your terms, you have to pay your dues to get there. And you have to be lucky enough to figure out that you had talent in the thing that you actually want to do. Because you can work 24 hours a day, and if you stink at golf, or you're not a good content producer, or your logos look like that I would make, then you're gonna lose. So that's what you got. And getting up early is not only an incredible competitive advantage, because most of your competitors are asleep, but getting up early is a great gift to give yourself. You get more life. I always tell my, I always say that I'm like the most lazy, disciplined person I know, because I don't want to do it. Yeah. But I always do. Do you want to be an artist? Do you want to be an engineer? I don't know, but I want you to start the year off. We're not talking about, you know, fake dreaming and just writing goals down to be doing it. I'm talking about knowing what you want because when you know what you want, that's where the drive comes from. That's where the passion comes from. You see, you're never going to get enough. You already are everything. You're everything that you need. Think of it for just a moment. Everything that you need to have total bliss, perfection of your life, you already are. You already have it. You came into this world with nothing. That's how you're going out. And the time that you have here, it, what you have is your uniqueness, your specialness, and you don't need anything else. Now think on this. If you don't know how to appreciate what you have and where you are in your life, you don't need anything else. Because if you do get something else, you won't know how to appreciate that either. You'll just want more. Or you'll want it to be different. Or you'll want it to be the way it used to be. Or you'll want someone else to be the way you think they should be. Successful people or no limit people or self-actualizing people, inner directed people, however you, whatever labels that have been put on them by great thinkers, philosophers, and therapists, people uh, that have looked at human beings. These kinds of people are people who always have enough. There are some people who can handle anything, not because their circumstances are different. You see, your circumstances have very little to do with your fulfillment in life. Very little. It's, it's how you're approaching your circumstances. It's your attitude towards your circumstances that make all the difference in the world.